reproductive system disease. Gynecologic cancer is any cancer that starts in a woman's reproductive organs. Cancer is always named for the part of the body where it starts. Gynecologic cancers begin in different places within a woman's pelvis, which is the area below the stomach and in between the hip bones. Types of gynecologic cancer Cervical cancer begins in the cervix, which is the lower, narrow end of the uterus. The uterus is also called the womb. Ovarian cancer begins in the ovaries, which are located on each side of the uterus. Some ovarian cancers can also begin in the fallopian tubes or peritoneum. Uterine cancer begins in the uterus, the pear-shaped organ in a woman's pelvis where the baby grows when she is pregnant. Vaginal cancer begins in the vagina, which is the hollow tube-like channel between the bottom of the uterus and the outside of the body. Vulval cancer. Vulval cancer begins in the vulva, the outer part of the female genital organs. The causes of many types of gynecologic cancer are unknown, but may include environmental factors such as smoking or obesity. Excessive hormone exposure, estrogen, replacement therapy, family history of gynecologic cancer. How to cure? Gen gynecologic cancer are always treated in several ways. It depends on the kind of cancer and how far it has spread. Treatments may include surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation. Women with gynecologic cancer often get more than one kind of treatment. Surgery. Doctors remove cancer tissue in an operation. Chemotherapy. Using special medicines to shrink or kill the cancer. The drugs can be pills you can take or medicines given in your veins or sometimes both. Radiation. Using high energy rays similar to x-rays to kill the cancer. Different treatments may be provided by different doctors on your medical team. Gynecologic oncologists are doctors who are trained to treat cancers of women's reproductive system. Surgeons are doctors who perform operation. Medical oncologists are doctors who treat cancer with medicine. Radiation oncologists are doctors who treat cancer with radiation. Nervous system disease affect a person's ability to move and maintain balance and posture. CP is the most common motor disability in childhood. Cerebral means having to do with the brain. Palsy means weakness or problems with using the muscles. CP is caused by abnormal brain development or damaging to the developing brain that affects a person's ability to control his or her muscles. The symptoms of CP vary from person to person. A person with severe CP might need to use special equipment to be able to walk or might not be able to walk at all and might need lifelong care. A person with mild CP, on the other hand, might walk a little awkwardly but might not need any special help. CP does not get worse over time though. The exact symptoms can change over a person's lifetime. Types of Cerebral Palsy Doctors classify CP according to the main type of movement disorder involved, depending on which areas of the brain are affected. One or more of the following movement disorders can occur. Stiff muscles, spasticity, and Controllable movements, dyspnea, poor balance and coordination, ataxia. CP is caused by abnormal development of the brain or damage to the developing brain that affects a child's ability to control his or her muscles. There are several possible causes of the abnormal development or damage. People used to think that CP was mainly caused by lack of oxygen during the birth process. There is currently no cure for cerebral palsy but treatments are available to help people with the condition be as active 
and independent as possible. Children and adults with the condition are cared for by a team of healthcare professionals who will work with you to come up with a care plan.